Hey, yo, it's the smack him in the face, Wayne6578. And you want the best run game Madden 21 has today? I have the top five ways to score on the goal line in Madden 21. It doesn't matter if you're trying to score a touchdown or going for a two point conversion. These Madden 21 run plays will help you win games. You also can use all of these plays to convert on fourth and shorts, third and shorts. If you just need to get inches, you are guaranteed to dominate utilizing these top five plays. Now, these plays are in multiple playbooks, but we'll go over each one and I'll tell you the playbooks that they are in. The first two plays are in the 49ers and Vikings and Broncos playbooks. They're in the I form tight formation and the plays will be the stretch alert you pop right here and the halfback power O. Okay, the next play is in the Kansas City Chiefs playbook. I put a tip out on this play. It's one of the best um, jet touch passes in the game. This is really a pass, but it performs just like a run, so I'm considering this a run. It's the jet touch pass. It's in the Kansas City Chiefs playbook. It's in the gun spread flex formation, and it is a beast especially if you have a fast receiver. Okay, we'll break down all of these plays. Now the next play is in the single back dice slot formation and the play is the 0-1 trap. This play can be found in the Jets, Lions, Buccaneers, and the Jaguars. It's also, when you add a custom play to a custom playbook, that sometimes the name change, so look up under if you don't see it up under single back dice slot, look for it up under single back doubles, okay? The last play is gonna be in the I-form twin formation, twin tight end, or the I-form wing formation, and that play is gonna be the halfback power O. Now, all of these plays are great to utilize to score points on the goal line. We'll break down each one, and I'll show you how easy it is to score two-point conversions, convert when you have inches to go, and to dominate and score touchdowns on your opponent in the red zone. Let's get into the breakdown, guys. Now, the first play, all the plays I'm going to break down against random goal line defenses, and then we're just going to break them down against random defenses. But the first play is going to be the stretch alert you pop in the I-form tight formation. This play, again, can be found in the 49ers, Vikings, and Broncos. Really, really simple play. You want your good back right here, and you just want to get it to the outside and just score a touchdown. Now, this is a goal line formation. Uh, they can only really use this. Uh, if you're just able to stay calm, read your blocks, make sure you get it to the outside, you'll score most of the time. If you don't score on most of these plays the first time, usually if you run it one more time, if you have one yard to go, you'll pick up that first down or convert on that two-point conversion or score that touchdown. So really, really simple play, going up against random goal line defenses, and then we'll go up against random defenses. As you see right here, the blocking is just phenomenal. Now let's go up against random defenses. This is the stretch alert pop against random defenses, guys. Same thing, you wanna just get it to the outside and get into that end zone. If it looks like you're not gonna get into the end zone, run towards that pylon, you might have to read blocks every once in a while. Now, if we run this again, you'll get stopped. Uh, no play is guaranteed to work, but if you run it again and you're able to read their defense, you'll definitely score the second time. Really, really good blocking on this play. Just get it to the outside. Most of these plays, if you get them to the outside and you're calm, you don't spam turbo, you will score touchdowns. These blocks are good. I don't know why Allen Robinson blocked and went to the back of the end zone. Maybe he was ready to celebrate, but this is against random defenses. Um, right here. Easy, easy scores, guys. Easy, easy scores. I'm going to give you the top five run plays to score and dominate. Right here, we just had to do a little bit of something different. My team didn't want to block for me. 
But we'll do this one and then we'll move on to the next one, guys. Now the next play is the halfback power O from the I form tight formation. Now, this play is a good thing. You can flip it. Nothing tells the defense that you're flipping it. But when you run this play, you want to run it in between that tight end and that um, tackle most of the time, okay? Just get it in between that tight end and that tackle, and you'll score a touchdown, guys. Like I said, most of these plays, run them two times in a row, you'll definitely score, guys. Right there. He tried to get us, but we were able to get into that zone. And I like to use power backs when I'm doing this. I don't like to use really fast, shifty backs, but power backs so I can kind of just truck my way into the end zone if need be, okay? Just like that, guys. Really, really easy plays. Nothing too complicated. Just power ball. Put your nose down. Right there, they stopped us. Uh, if we run that again, get it right in between there and just score a touchdown, guys. Now let's go up against random defenses. This is against random defenses. Same thing, man. Same thing. We try to get it in between that tackle and that tight end. Okay? Look at that. Sometimes we might have to cut it back. You just read the holes. The holes will develop. The blocking is phenomenal on these plays. Look at that blocking. That is a walk into the end zone, man. Right there. He was able to do something. He got us. He got us. 29. Who is that? Who is that? Who is 29? So, really great play. And, like I said, uh, you can flip this play. That's definitely flipping into bad territory. Let's keep it over here. Get those blocks, get those blocks, and let me rock. Easy, 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 guys. Easy touchdowns, easy touchdowns, guys. Easy, easy touchdowns. We'll run it one more time, and then we'll move on to the next play. Only truck your way into the end zone. Like I said, I do like to utilize power backs when I'm trying to convert on two-point conversions or... Uh, fourth and inches, third and inches, okay? So the next play is the jet touch pass in the Kansas City um, playbook. It's in the spread flex formation, and you can put your fastest receiver here at this jet touch pass. Uh, let's go up against goal line. It's going to dominate on goal line, so we'll just run it a few times on that, and then I'll show you. Let's go up against random goal line. This dominates. You just want to get it to the outside. Make sure you have your fastest receiver here. It'll dominate every time on goal line. They have to use it that. And when they use it, if you make a move on that guy, usually you'll just score the touchdown. Every time, guys. Simple as that. It dominates and destroys goal line, especially if you have inches. Okay? You have inches to go or one or two yards to go right there. We had to make a move on one guy, and we still got in. So, like, that's if they're actually using that. You can make the move on that guy. We'll run it one more time, and then we'll go up against random defenses, okay? Right here. Okay, okay. Right there. Nice little defense. Nice defense. You do want your best blockers on this side. Your best tight end and your best wide receiver. Now let's go up against random defenses. Now this is the jet touch pass against random defenses, okay? Really, really simple play. Same method. We just get this to the outside. Hopefully your receivers can block, unlike that case right there. But just get it to the outside. Turn on those jets and get it in. I should have ran it a little bit more towards the outside before I cut it up. But the only way to stop this play is by definitely usering it or if they call a nice defense where you have some people in that back of that end zone. Like if it's overloaded on that right side and they actually get into that back of the end zone. But whenever it's green or whenever you have less people on that side, most of the time you're going to score a touchdown. Most of the time you're going to score a touchdown. And you might have to cut it back like that right there. So just be... Be weary of that and be ready to do that just in case you have to. 
but most of the time it'll be an easy walk into the end zone guys uh, I do like to kind of run back a little bit just in case they come to the back of that they push that guy into the back of the end zone and I'll show you what happens right here so if you look at this right here when we're running we're running down the line right here as you see as you see they're pushing that guy in the back of the end zone now if I keep running straight I will hit that guy and slow down maybe stumble fall and get a, a tackle for a loss so I kind of run it back you don't have to cut it back as much as I did right there but I've run this place so much that I just do it I can go a little bit further so kind of just be careful of that when they push that guy into that back of that backfield you want to kind of cut it out and just get it to the outside cut those jets on and get it to the outside let's move on to the next play now the next play is the 01 trap from in the single back doubles or single back wing formation um, it's the 01 trap this one is in the Jets Lions the Buccaneers and the Jags on this one you just want to run it straight up the gut use your power back truck stick when you get near that goal line and just score a touchdown uh, unless they're pinching and crashing everybody down it'll be a cakewalk if you need like one or two yards especially on two-point conversions unless they're all crowding that line doing that it'll be a cakewalk now this is against random goal line defenses we'll go on to the next and we'll run it against um, actual um, multiple defenses just random defenses not just goal line and right here we had to actually go to the left a little bit so you just got to be careful of that but like I said with all these plays if you run it once and you get stopped in the backfield just run it again if they stop at that time choose another run play because they actually have defense that can stop that run like right here that was a good call probably everybody was crashing in so we would call another run play and then possibly we'll get to score but I'm telling you you need inches on this you need to convert on a two-point conversion you want to go for a game winning touchdown make sure you have your power back truck your way into that end zone let's go up against random defenses guys now this is the 01 trap against random defenses same thing i just like to run it truck my way on into the end zone if possible make sure you have your power back the little bitty elusive speedy back might not get the job done guys so this is for going for two-point conversion game winning touchdowns picking up fourth and inches you want to truck your way into the end zone. That speedy back might get tackled right there. Okay? It's against random defenses. We're dominating, and they cannot stop us right there. Nice one, Jones. Nice one, Jones. But you'll score most of the time, guys. Going for those two points. Going for those fourth and inches, third and inches. These are the top run plays that help me dominate and win games. You can utilize them too, guys. We have one more to go over, and then we will be out. Let's break down the last play. Now, the last play is the halfback power O in the I-form twin or wing formation, okay? You want to aim to run it up against that first tight end, okay? I almost got it in right there. But in between that first tight end and that tackle, that's where you're aiming, okay? We're aiming like right up in there. Go ahead and score that touchdown. Now, the blocking is really, really good on this one. You can flip the play. We're going up against random goal line defenses. You can flip this play and still run it that way. But be careful when you flip that play. You don't want to flip that play into a worse running situation. Like right here, we flip the play. It's still bad. So, But I still like those linebackers the way they're lined up. I'm going to take my chances on this side. So be on the lookout for that. Okay, those linebackers were shifted to the right. So right here, I like the setup over here. If everybody blocks, we almost got it. We should have cut that one back, but just be be paying attention to certain things like that. Like if you notice when you need to run it, where you need to run it, look for these things and you can dominate. We'll run this one more time and then we'll break it down against different defenses. And that right there, man, you gotta run it again. Almost, almost didn't get in it. I don't know if that was. Okay, 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 they're stopping us, they're stopping us. 
can't stop us every time. You can't stop me every time, guy. Did he stop me? I'll be three in a row now. Hold on now. There we go. Okay, now let's break it down against multiple defenses, guys. This is the play against multiple defenses. Same thing. We aim for that spot right there and just go on into that end zone. Make sure you truck stick. Use your power back to get it on into that end zone. Right here. They almost tried to slow us up, but we're patient and we're able to get into the end zone. Again, you can flip the play. Do the same thing. Get it over here. Truck him. Get on into the end zone. Score a touchdown, guys. Utilize these five top plays. To convert, two-point conversion, score touchdowns, win games. Not like that. These plays are unstoppable. Yep, I'm outie, but I'll be back. I do like that new thing they do right there. Let's look at that. This guy is dominating. I love when they do this now. When they're near the goal line, they actually stretch for it. Look at that. Ball across the plane. Touchdown, and we're still up in the air. No need down. Touchdown. Bears win. Bears win. Thanks for watching, guys. It's your boy Wayne6578. Subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell to be notified and join the Team Smack'em Nation. Let's go.